Hello everybody, uh, welcome back, this is Edward and uh, let's go ahead and refine our um, character before we, we go any any further. Uh, it's probably a good idea to start adjusting our points, but maybe let's go ahead and finalize all of s the major loops here. I'm, I'm gonna add another loop that goes around the head like this. Uh, just so we've got an extra edges here for the forehead and we'll be able to give it a much nicer shape <coughs> and also uh, let me go ahead and add a uh, another loop here for the nostrils so we're gonna create a loop around the tip of the nose just like this and here we've got a triangle and a five-sided shape which we can solve by adding a point to a triangle and connecting it to the corner here so this way we have enough points here to uh, fine-tune our our shape so the next step would be to go in and start playing with some proportions here so remember that once we've got this basic edge structure you can actually um, you can actually make that character look like most uh, you know you can basically change your proportions here any way uh, you like it you can give it a very small pointy nose or you can actually give it a much wider nose let's go ahead and do that maybe we should start looking at it in a smooth preview uh, there we go so we can see things a little bit better here so all of these loops they basically trigger and acknowledge major points of the surface uh, they will allow us to kind of give a define the proportions for let's say the nose just like we're doing it here uh, we can control the shape of the nose which we might actually need to insert another edge loop right here if we want to get a little bit more definition but we can maybe use that kinda like this we can lower the eyebrow We can control how tall the skull is. Kind of like this. How wide it is. How wide is our cheek bones? So notice with few points we can control all these major aspects. So how prominent the cheekbones are how prominent the jaw is so you can see here we can make it a pretty wide jaw for this character and uh, definitely here is our chin right here so it just a matter of how you move and how you place these points you can make uh, you can basically quickly get a design a very simple and functional character head. So if we do want to give it a little bit wider nose here, you know, at some point we might want to start adding more and more loops here. Um, actually, let's bring this a little closer. Make sure we're not selecting anything extra. There we go. So again, if we want to give it some more definition here, we can just add the loop. So the rest is pretty much playing with our loops. We can bring that in or maybe further down and expand the nose, make it maybe a much more prominent wide cartoony
there we go if we want to have a much wider eyes we can bring those down we can actually take this further down Remember that this is just a major eye socket. We'll be, we'll, uh, we'll just getting that area. Everything else is again is done with the loops. We just keep adding our loops here. and then of course this is the time where we want to start placing our eyeballs uh, eyeball geometry in there so our eyelids are properly folding over that that shape a circular shape right there one thing at a time and uh, let's quickly acknowledge uh, the neck right here so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take couple of these faces uh, we can just take these four but if we also want to give it a little bit more of a an Adam's apple or just have a better integration with uh, the chin we'll just take three faces like that let's go ahead and delete the inner faces here and probably we might as well just take these faces and also get rid of them there so let's take these vertices actually one face I would still want to keep so let's actually do a little bit of undo here. This face right here, I would want to keep. We'll just keep it like that, and we're only going to delete uh, three faces. So here is our very basic Adam's apple, and from here we can have a basic neck. There we go. Oops. and let's go ahead and extrude these edges further because we want to continue on so um, there we go very simple neck for this character again definitely needs more fine tuning but it definitely gives us an, a nice general direction and structure and maybe we will finalize with a few more details in the next uh, video